Today I'm going to show you my top 10 list of favorite small everyday carry knives. I did a list like this back in September of 2019. Big, big changes like five new knives. Even the number one spot is now a different knife. So let's do this. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome to the channel. And consider now clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. First, we should probably go ahead and just uh, define uh, what do I consider to be like a small knife. And it's going to be anything that has a blade under 3.125 inches or 7.9 centimeters. So knives like the Civivi Chronic or the CJRB Feldspar, these are too big for the list and I would consider these to be more of medium in size. Starting out with number 10 on my list is going to be the Kershaw Leak. Now there's quite a few things that I really like about this knife and one of which being the weight. 2.56 ounces or 72.7 grams. Very very light. I mean I guess it should be. It's a small knife. Uh, Sandvik 14C 28N blade steel very good budget steel and the $50 asking price you know and that's for a US made knife I just think that that's a pretty good value here speed safe assist I also really like I know a lot of you do not but I enjoy it very tiny flipper tab did you see that very small and there's gonna be two deployment options using that flipper or you can go ahead and use these uh, thumb studs excellent slicer. I mean, you can tell just by looking at this thing, it's going to be a good slicer. There are just a couple things I don't like about this knife, and one of which being that that pocket clip. And you might recognize it because, yes, it is the very same that comes on the Kershaw Blur. Just not really, not really a fan of it, and it's just way, way too large for this handle. Now, in the tip-down configuration, it's not too shallow of a carry, but if you want to carry this tip up, oh yeah, you're going to have a ton of handle just kind of sticking up out of that that pocket. So really, you know, an aftermarket deep carry clip is almost required here. Number nine is going to be the Benchmade North Fork. And this is really, uh, it, it's, a, it's a beefy little knife. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but it, it really, it really is the weight 3.21 ounces or about 91 grams that's that's not too bad I mean if you stick to that uh, ounce per inch rule okay yeah you could consider it heavy but in the grand scheme of things it's uh, pretty pretty darn light great action I mean and that's with the bronze washer so that's with that that axis lock I can fit all four of my fingers on the 3.9 inch handle s30 V blade steel and the jimping is just really good notice how it's in like two places so it just gives you a, a couple different uh grip options i like that a lot not too many things that i that I, I dislike about this knife but one of which being that uh it's a very pronounced like a uh, recurve edge and i know for some of you um you know that that might not be the easiest uh, to sharpen and, and hey you know i i get that it and my last dislike here is going to be the price this usually runs anywhere between $130 and $150. I mean, I, as of right now, this recording, if you go to Amazon, you can pick this up for $115. I have never seen it at that low of a price. Number eight is the Kaiser Vanguard Mini Sheepdog. And what I, I like about this one is it's really kind of, it's, it's another one of those like little big knives. I mean, it's it's a very small knife, but it sure as heck does not look like it. I, I just love this uh, this cleaver blade shape. Great steel with either this one is in VG10, but I know uh, Kaiser has switched to I believe like 154 CM now. That uh, is the blaze. Still, you know, that's a VG10 equivalent. So still good stuff. The pocket clip. Not really, you know, deep carry, but I think it is, uh, it's deep enough for me anyway. Great action too. Usually with smaller knives, the action isn't going to be that great, but this has a ball bearing pivot. So, oh yeah, you can see that just drops shut like 
no problem at all. Not much that I don't like here. Uh, just the, well, your the grip, it's gonna be, so with my medium-sized hands, it's just gonna be a three-finger grip. There's no way I can get my, uh, my fourth one on there. I mean, the handle, it's just about 3.14 inches in length. And the pocket clip, it is just the one position. Yeah, no lefty love. At number seven, I placed the Spyderco Sage 5. And this, I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite uh, leaf blade shapes from Spyderco. S30V blade steel, of course. Uh, this, the handle is actually pretty large. Out of all the knives on this list, I think this one has the largest at 4.17 inches. So you, it can accommodate a whole bunch of different uh, hand sizes. And especially, I mean, if you use this, this nice big forward uh, finger choil, a, a lot of you don't like the carbon fiber laminate over the G10, but I will say this, it provides just some really, really good traction. We get the deep carry uh, wire clip, uh, compression lock, which, well, you know, it's just a really good time. Again, only two things that I that I don't like here about the Sage 5. And the first one, it being that that price, it, it really is up there for S30V steel. You're looking anywhere for about like 150 to like $160 on Amazon. Uh, that's, you know, that's a little bit on on the high end. And now I know I just said that the compression lock is a good time and it really is, but it's only made really for, for righties because you kind of see what I've got to do to operate it as a, as a lefty. Oh, I just wish they would make a left-handed version of this. You had to know that this knife would be showing up on my list and is the, at number six, the Ontario Knife Company Rat 2. And what I like about this is, well, first, the the action. It's pretty darn good, you know, considering that that blade is just riding on bronze washers. And at the uh, $25 price point, you know, for Aus 8 steel blade, I think that that is a very good price. The blade shape, I love it. Just one of those like very useful kind of utility, do it all kind of blade shapes. And this is another one with a, with a longer handle at 4.125 inches in length. I can fit all of my fingers on there, no trouble at all. I, and another thing I also appreciate, notice the very large, actually, thumb studs, but you see where they're positioned like behind that plunge grind. I like that because it does not like obstruct or like get in the path of when you're cutting something. The only things I don't like here are gonna be, well, the, if you're, if you wanna carry this uh, tip up, again, you're gonna be looking at a very shallow carry. So a good amount of handle is gonna be sticking up out of your pocket. And now these, these scales are just basically nylon, well, plastic. And at least to me anyway, uh, oh yeah, it feels like plastic. All right, you ready for it? Now this is going to be the the, the top five. So really um, had to make some really tough decisions here. And at the five spot is going to be the Kaiser Vanguard Dukes. And this knife has just such good action because of the very like strong detent. So you, anytime I push down on that flipper tab, it just flies like right open. This is another knife that has a, a, a larger handle for a small knife at 4.125 inches. Blade steel is gonna be the N690, which I think is a, it's a decent uh, steel for this knife. What I don't like, I am just not a fan of the, the pocket clip that comes uh, stock on this knife and you notice this is a this is a deep carry clip that I think I got off of a I think I got this off of a Ganzo knife but don't quote me on that uh, but unfortunately yeah no uh, no lefty love here in this uh, instance giant I mean that is just a giant flipper tab and that sharpening choil is way way too big it's like in the in between like sharpening choil or forward finger choil i just wish they'd remove a little bit more material and just make it 
a, a, a finger twill. And same with the, with the edge. They really couldn't decide if they wanted to go with a recurve or just a regular, you know, plain edge. And number four, yes, I was finally able to get my hands on one of these. Can you believe these knives are still, I mean, this knife is so popular, it just like sells out. Very difficult to find that, of course, being the Civivi Elementum. And I just love this very like simplistic overall design. Great looking drop point. Mm, I love that blade. Hollow grind, of course. So this is going to be a, an excellent slicer. These G10 scales. Oh yeah, that provides some really good, uh, really good traction. I can fit all my fingers on this uh, 4.03 inch handle. Nice and light, 2.87 ounces or 81.5 grams. And that flipper tab, very small. I like that. And I really just wish that this, they did this like, uh, like halfway finger choil area. I just wish it was done a little bit differently because I mean, you can go ahead and use it like that, but it's really not, it's really not safe and I wouldn't recommend it. And lastly, uh, being the, well, the pocket clip. Yep, no, no lefty love. And there's really, I can't see any reason for it not to be switchable, but hey, that's what they decided to do. Here at number three, I've got the uh, steel wheel mini cut jack in the, the D2 blade steel. I just absolutely love this drop point blade shape. I can fit, again, all four of my fingers on the 4.05 inch handle. Nice, big, usable forward finger. Forward finger choil. I think it's got to be one of the largest choils out of all the knives that I'm going to show you here today. The action, also very good. I mean, it's very difficult for me to uh, get this to fail, and that's going to be because of the very, very strong detent. Two position pocket clip. So, yes, it is for righties. Boom! And for lefties. Thank you very much. I don't have a problem with the price tag here at $38. I still feel like that that's a pretty good value. Traction on these FRN scales is also just excellent. The jimping is also excellent. I mean, very, very aggressive jimping on that uh, blade spine. And then again on the, the flipper tab. Decent weight here too at 3.03 ounces or 85.9 grams. And my only gripes here are just going to be um, with the, well, with the pocket clip. I'm just, I'm, I'm really not, not a fan. I don't, I'm not crazy about how this clip looks, especially with all of like that cluster of screws there. It just looks like it's a bit much. Now, if you remember from my previous video uh, of my, my 10 favorite small everyday carry knives, the uh, Benchmade mini freak 565 this was at the number one spot yeah so now it's moved down to number two so that means we have a new number one same things that i still like about this knife the blade shape love it good looking drop point fair price i think for the s30v at 95 dollars um i can fit all of my fingers on the 4.05 inch handle no trouble at all access lock of course we all know how much of a good time that is what don't i like well the pocket clip that this actually comes with it's not this one because this is actually off of a uh, off of a, a bug out but it comes with that that split arrow clip which we all know just not a fan of it and now sometimes not every time but when putting this in and out of the pocket that that handle material being as grippy as it is sometimes it does get uh, hung up on my pocket all right the moment you guys have all been waiting for are you ready to see my number one favorite small everyday carry knife it is going to be the drop ferrum forge gent select Ooh, yeah the fancy one the action is just it's excellent i mean in both directions because of the very strong detent and the ball bearing pivot i mean one of the few small knives that i can honestly i can actually get to drop closed 
and I just, I love that. This uh, drop point blade shape here on the uh, Gent is one of my all time favorite blade shapes. Very nice materials that they used here. I mean, titanium, carbon fiber, S35VM, blade steel, what's not to love? And that stone wash, look at that unique stone wash finish. That is, oh, is that gorgeous. I can fit all of my fingers, even though this handle's a little bit smaller at 3.8 inches. I mean, there's still plenty of room and even more so if you use this uh, large forward finger choil when you uh, choke up. 3.2 millimeter thick blade for such a small knife. And I am a huge fan of this uh, deep carry pocket clip, which is gonna be for righties, bam, yep, and for lefties. Very lightweight, 2.42 ounces or only 68.5 grams. Just a couple things I don't like here, and one of which being, well, the price. I mean, it's a little bit, it's it's a little, it's up there at $130, um, but you know, you have to actually remove the, one of the scales if you want to get to that pivot screw, if you need to make any kind of adjustments. So that can be kind of a pain in the butt. And for the longest time, you could only buy this from drop, but now I'm noticing that uh, you can also get this now on Amazon. All right, well, now you know what's coming next, right? Because I've shown you mine. Now let's see yours. Let me know down in the comment section below, what does your uh, top 10 list of small knives, what does that look like? If you don't have 10, hey, do five, do two, however many you wanna do, but just put them down in the comment section. And if you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and do like a, a, a response video and then we could put together some kind of a, a, a playlist for all of you to watch. I'll be sure to go ahead and, and I'll put a link up there in the corner. You click on that icon and it'll take you to my previous top 10 list of favorite small everyday carry knives, just in case if you wanna like compare the two together. But if you enjoyed this video and you got, I mean like any value from it, do me a favor, let me know by just leaving one of these. And don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. You guys take care. Hey, I'll see you later.